Hello, in this video we'll be talking about chairside zirconia milling and finishing, specifically for crowns made using the CEREC machine. The first step after prepping your tooth is to scan and design your crown. We have a video dedicated to this topic and we'll leave the link to it in the description. The step after that is selecting your block. Remember that most zirconia ends up being one shade lighter than the shade selected. The mill needs to know what type of block you selected. On the prime mill, that includes scanning a QR code on the top of the block. However, for older MCX mills, this involves typing in the code yourself on the machine or on the scanner. It's also important to make sure the block is fully seated. Notice how there's a space now between the block and the mandrel. It's important to make sure the block is fully seated as such. Zirconia is drilled under dry milling, so make sure this is a dry mill you're using, and the time it takes will vary based on your selection between fast, extra fast, and fine. During that time, it's recommended to grab the block of burrs you'll be using. It looks like this. Eventually, the crown will come out and would look like that. You'll need to separate the crown from the block. This is usually done using the straight diamond. The crown will be very fragile during that stage, so be careful not to drop it and make sure to handle it with care. The next stage is pre-polishing. That involves removing the sprue and removing any extraneous milling marks, plus bringing the surface of the crown to an eggshell finish. The first thing you'll do is use the same burr you used to separate the crown from the block to remove the sprue and remove any milling marks on the surface of the crown. Next, you'll be using the yellow polishing disc to bring the surface of the crown to an eggshell finish. This is done on slow speed and be careful not to touch the interproximal contacts or the margins. This image shows you the difference between a pre-polished and an unpolished surface of a crown. The pre-polished surface should have a slightly glossy appearance, especially under the light. Use some oil-free pressurized air to remove any debris from the crown before sintering. The speed fire should receive all the information about your patient, so go ahead and find your case, select sintering, and press play. You'll find that the pedestal comes down out of the speed fire. Go ahead and place the crown with the margins pointing upwards and the occlusal surface down. Next, press the play button and you'll see the pedestal rising once again into the speed fire. After about 20 minutes, the crown is ready and very hot, so use the tongs and place the crown on the black perforated area of the speed fire. Once cool, sandblast the intaglio to remove any remaining debris and enhance bonding. The next stage is post-polishing, which takes the crown from a matte finish to a high shine. You'll use the different polishers in this order, although sometimes only the last two are recommended to bring it to a high shine. While using the last polisher, you can go over all the surfaces, including the interproximals and the margins. The last step is to high shine the crown using the diamond polishing paste and the polishing wheel. Touch the wheel to the paste to add some paste to the wheel and then go over the crown to give it a nice high shine. Now your crown is ready to try in in the patient's mouth. We hope this video was helpful. We'll see you guys on the next video.